So I'm driving to We Are Mopar right now. We got David in the Challenger in front, and then uh, we got Kashan uh, in the back. What up? What up? Kashan's in the back with his wrapped uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT and David's car, which I can't even show you guys. What's up? What's cracking? So I figured I'd go live right now just to uh, make the drive go by a little faster. We're about an hour and a half behind. So I don't know. Want to see what's like, what's going on with you guys today. So I'm in the truck. Uh, we got the trailer. The Hellcat's in the trailer. What up, Evan? What up, Pete? It says very bad connection. Did I get a ticket? No, I didn't get a ticket. Uh, I forgot to put. So for those of you who don't follow me on uh, Instagram, at Kev, I posted a picture of a uh, police officer pulling me over, which he did pull me over. Uh, he pulled me over because uh, I didn't have a license plate on the back of the trailer, which I forgot to install. So what's going on? We'll see if this connection gets any better. I don't know. I guess it's kind of shitty. What's going on? What's going on? Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. So, what up? What up? Small towns in Texas are always crazy to me. They're always so old and small. <laughs> so, we're driving through Memphis, Texas right now. Uh, I don't know if any of you even know where that is, but it's uh, on the way to Fort Worth. So we're about probably four hours away from Fort, uh, from Fort Worth. Where is Rachel? Rachel is in uh, Buffalo spreading her grandma's ashes. What's going on? Do you like classic Mopar? Let's see, did it work? It still says live. Hmm. Yes, I love classic Mopar. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna see some uh, some really cool cars here. We are Mopar. I really want to see a uh, old school Challenger, which I'm sure there will be, and I would love to see a Barracuda. That would be badass. What's going on? What's going on? So sorry if my feed is kind of shitty. I'm going through like a small town or small towns, I guess, on my way to Fort Worth. Uh, we're on 287 South, I think. So, right, what did the questions say? Hold on, I'm trying to read these questions. Appreciate you. I will be safe. Thank you. Do a red light race. <laughs> we do. It. We are gonna do some red light racing and stuff. I can't release David's car. Is the problem? I'm waiting for his dumbass to post the video. Um, Cause I can tell you his car looks dope as fuck, but I can't show you what it looks like. So you're going to have to make sure you stay tuned on his channel or on his Instagram or whatever. So hopefully he'll be able to release that soon. It says very bad. Why does it keep saying very bad connection? It says I have LTE, but I have very bad connection. That's fucking whack. Hey, so, hey John, just come find me, dude. Um... I mean, I'll be at the CA booth most of the time. Hopefully I can walk around, but um, if any of you guys are going to We Are Mopar, please come up and say what's up to me. I am just a regular ass person. I'm not anybody special. So just come say hello. Uh, I'm trying to read these comments. The Dodge Demon is going to be badass. I agree. <laughs> well, hey man, uh, faithful servant, I appreciate it. Um, I think you live in Buffalo, I think. So, uh, I know that Buffalo needs a kicker because Dan Carpenter wasn't very good. And I don't know who they have right now. Uh, did his shit get fixed? Yes, David's thing did get fixed. So, the parts came in. David's driving his Challenger, which I can't show you. It's in front of me. Um, and if I can get a... I don't think I can get any view of it, but um, Kashan, which you guys will meet here soon... Uh, he's following, following us also. He has a uh, matte red wrapped Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, kind of like mine. Kevin, where in Fort Worth is the show? Uh, the show is at the Texas Motor Speedway. 
tonight there's the it's called Friday Night Lights it's put on by Oracle um, Oracle I guess is a company who kind of is like Diode Dynamics they do a lot of lighting and stuff like that so they're having it at some type of garage I'm not sure of the address right now am I a big fan of Hennessy Performance if they didn't charge like an arm and a leg I think they want like $45,000 to make 1,000 crank horsepower when you could probably do that yourself for like five to 10 grand. Where is Misa Pot? Misa is actually riding with David. So, and they're in front of me right now. I really hope you guys are enjoying your Friday though. Don't work too hard. <laughs> What up? What's up, Adam? How are you, man? Brandon, are you going to the show of an EFA? Yes. Uh, we actually brought the drone. We bought our Ronin. We have our Sony A7S II. We have a Canon 80D. I think that's what David has. Or 70D. And then I have my GoPro. We've got a couple GoPros. So we're going to film the whole thing. Um, the guy who has the SRT Jeep does not have a Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, nothing. He's like uh, living in 1995. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the feed is bad. Uh, we're going to be in Fort Worth, Texas. So if you're in Fort Worth, come say what's up or hit me up. Come hang out with me. Come chill at the Mopar show. It'll be fun. Hey, sounds good, man. That'd be cool to see your Durango. Uh, yes, David got his part fixed. Well, hey, man, I, if you fly all the way from California, I will give you a fucking free T-shirt. <laughs> and I will hug you. That's fucking badass. So, what's up? If you guys are on here, say what's up, man. Don't be afraid. I'm just a regular guy going live on YouTube while driving a truck and trailer with a Hellcat inside. No big deal. No big deal. The Hellcats are ready. Well, there's one Hellcat in the trailer and there's one Hellcat right in front of me. I can't show you it though. Alright, dude. I'll see you. Uh, bring your OA Duramax. What up, Ryan? So I just want to give a shout out to all you guys who are on this right now. This is cool. I've never done a live anything before, so this is uh, this is new for me. This is awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Luis. That's badass, man. I really appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. Whether you like me or not, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you guys want to see anything from this weekend, like particular, let me know. Yeah, hey, come down. It'd be dope. Come say what's up. I'll be in Fort Worth. Um, I don't know what the exact address is. What's up? What up, Mike? If you guys are in here, come say what's up, man. All you gotta do is type hello or hi. What's up, Lucas? You said it twice. I feel you. Three times. actually the best I've ever seen. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's badass. Because <laughs> literally, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Check this out. Literally, the middle of nowhere. Kevin, you can turn your phone on its side long ways. Oh, okay. Let's see. It says orientation is locked. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Let's see, uh, cruising, <laughs> well, you know, I don't need to, I'm not even going to bring up people who talk bad about me on YouTube, you know, even point, I don't even bring up their name no more, no drama for me, I'm drama free, so people can call me out or whatever, I don't care, don't bother me any, hey, I will hit you up when I'm in Vegas, uh, I'll be in Vegas like September 13th or the 18th or something like that. Uh, yes, I got pulled over because my trailer didn't have a license plate on it. I know. Big shock that they're going to pull me over for having no fucking license plate. 
but whatever, no big deal. So this truck is packed full of stuff, and this is a mega cab, and we've got like boxes of clothes and shit in here. Steroids and Hellcats. I know, Mesa really wants to make that shirt. It's so fucking stupid. So, we are 18 miles from Childress. I don't know if any of you guys even know where that is. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to try and get to give the NFL one more one more year. See if I can make it. i got to give a shout-out to my homie, Britton Golden. He, played, uh, he plays for the Cardinals. He killed it last night. Well, thank you. Um, thank you for liking the truck. It's Rachel's, though. It's not mine. I just pay for it. <laughs> so, and I do have a new video coming out for you guys going over. We did tune and delete this. And I will tell you this. It's fucking worth the $2,000 that I paid. So, fuck the trolls. Hey, man. They can come hate all they want. I don't care. I'm not going to respond back. No matter me. Worth my time. So this weekend there's supposed to be 1,857 cars registered just for the car show. Well, hey man, if you keep working hard, you can have whatever the fuck you want, okay? I used to have no car. And now I got too many fucking cars. And I'm getting a demon, so... Fuck what anybody ever tells you about not being able to do anything. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Fuck the haters. Fuck anybody who doubts you. Fuck all that. Yes, the Texas straight troopers, I do agree. They are they are not the greatest. But if you're respectful, like you should be to all police officers, they are usually respectful back. Now, obviously, that's not all of them, but usually. So... I think what else I can talk about. This is kind of cool though. So would you ever smoke stack? Honestly, uh, this is no offense to anybody who does stacks on their trucks. It's not my style. I've never liked it. Uh, it I don't know. It's too, uh, it's too down south for me. <laughs> Have you thought about trading in your Hellcat for the Jeep Trackhawk? Um, I like my Hellcat. I really, really do. And uh, actually... I need to make a video about this, but I'm actually contemplating maybe getting another car. Maybe getting another one. So, we'll see. But it won't be a Jeep track car. Get the red smoke tires. I don't even know where you would get those. Gang, gang, we out here. That's what's up. Gang, gang. We out here. Fucking grinding, that's for sure. I, I have gotten two hours of sleep in the past two days trying to get all this shit ready for the Mopar show. You know what's shitty? Is I washed the truck, washed the Jeep, fucking waxed the car, made it all fucking pretty. Well, I didn't make it pretty. I paid somebody to make it pretty. And uh, it rained yesterday. You ever been to the Wood... No, actually, I haven't been to Woodward Dream Cruise. Um, when, when is that? Because, man, I would love to make that work. Do you, uh, do you know the dates of the Woodward Dream Cruise? I, the Durango is dope, but my homie John is going to get one, so I don't want to jock his style. I got to let him do his thing, but those are sick. If you have kids, like multiple kids, like two, three, four, five, six, maybe ten, <laughs> then I would get a Durango. Fuck getting a minivan. Get something that has almost 500 horsepower. It burn out some shit. Yeah, I know I need to get my rest, but when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to grind and fucking chase your dream and uh, having whatever you want, man, you gotta, sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little bit of sleep, so, because you don't make money that easy. Uh, it's in two weeks, the 17th to the 19th. Is that the same thing? That's not the same thing as, um, damn, what is that thing that I got invited to by Dodge? Uh... Shit, I can't remember. That's not the same thing, is it? The, like, night... What is it? Shit. I can't remember whatever they uh, invited me to. Damn, what is it called? Oh, Roadkill Nights? Is that the same thing as the Woodward Dream Cruise, or is that two separate things? Roadkill Nights, thank you. Yeah, is that different than the Woodward Dream Cruise, or is that the same? 
trading your 08 Duramax for, I think you said Hellcat? It, it uh, well, that's, that's a big difference, I don't know, um, it depends on kind of if you have family or kids or if you're just by yourself. I mean, I love my Hellcat, but to be honest, after tuning like the truck, and this car, or this truck is perfect, and I'm pull, I'm going 80 right now, pulling the Hellcat uh, in a 24 foot trailer right now. <laughs> if I cut Mises' hair, he would go underneath his bed where he keeps his AR-15 and his shotgun, and he'd put it in my mouth and shoot me, guaranteed. That boy's got like fucking 20 guns under his bed. Like, not even kidding. Looks like a drug dealer's mattress. For real. So I hope all you guys are enjoying your Friday. Hope you guys have big plans for the weekend. I know I'll be working, that's for sure. But, uh... So... Gotta be working. Always working. What are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody? Anyone? 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 Uh, I'm not sure. Might be on the near. What time do you choose? Uh, if they make a wide body charger, would I swap it? No, I probably would just buy it, to be honest. I just don't see it happening. Like, I, I don't know. Dodge does some funky stuff, but I don't see them coming out with a wide body charger. I think it'd be dope and badass, because I think that the charger, I don't know, I mean, to be able to fit like 335 or 345 tires in the back, that'd be badass. And what, you know, what's interesting is David has the same tires that I do, and I think he has more clearance. Like, I almost think he could do a 325 if they make one. I think he has enough room. But on the Charger, like, you're really pushing it. Especially because I like to slam my shit when I park it. Rodeo and mudding. Hey, that's what's up, man. A lot of my friends uh, in Texas do that. Actually, I have, I have some clients who are going to some big rodeo stuff this weekend, too. I guess there's some big stuff going in uh, Amarillo this weekend. Some, uh, what is it, bull riding and something else. Roping, calf roping. What did David do to his car? I will tell you that he wrapped it. Can't tell you what color or what it looks like. I already told him I wouldn't. He did something to the suspension. He got some little goodies on his car, but I can't I can't show you. That's his deal. I mean I could. He's literally like right in front of me. I could just be like, oh look, fuck you, Dave. My subscribers got to see before yours. <laughs> so uh, David is leading the pack right now. He's got the um, you know I've never used a radar detector until today. That shit fucking works. Like legit to shave my hairy balls or not is the well I mean you gotta be clean bro you, you, you have to be clean that's not even a question it's 2017 girls don't want to be sucking on hairy nuts clean going to street be oh that's badass that I wish I could have went to uh, street speed 717's call out but I would have wanted to take the demon so maybe he'll do another one and then I'll just show up. Because I know he ain't going to invite me because I don't have too many subscribers. And, like, he's not going to benefit of me going. So. But, maybe. You know, I think I might have my own call out. As soon as I get the demon, maybe I'll just make a list of, like, ten people and just call them out. Call them a bunch of pussies. Even though I, like, think they're cool. Be like, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. And then make them come down to Amarillo and then collab and then make badass videos. Hey, I'm just saying, clean balls are the right way to go. You guys can say what you want, but it's 2017. Balls need to be smooth. Smooth as eggs. If anyone knows where that's from, let me know. Could your charger beat his vet? Who's vet? If you had money, would you donate? Honestly, <laughs> I don't fit in a fucking ACR Viper. Like, my head, this is the roof. This, my hand is the roof and this is the head. If 
I ever come to Illinois, I, I will definitely check it out. Oh, you do know that reference. Dave Chappelle, that's what's up. We in 2017, 2037. Dude, I'd be old as fuck. I don't want to be in 2037 yet. I'm trying to enjoy my young years while I still have them. My balls going to be smooth as eggs. Smooth as eggs. I love that. Dave Chappelle is fucking awesome. Fuck yo couch. I might even listen to that. Does it go for all? Dude, you gotta just, you just, I mean, I don't, I don't know about, like, your gooch and stuff, but I'm just saying, you gotta be smooth, man. Plus, tip, it makes it look bigger. Hello? Come on, man. Shit. Ever you thought about separating your vlogs from car day or club or meeting in two different? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you guys wanted that, I mean, I'm, I don't know. It, I'm just trying to, like, hopefully you guys like the long vlogs because I'll just, I'm just literally going to keep making them. So, top out the diesel. Now that it's tuned, I probably could, but since I'm towing, that wouldn't be the smartest thing to do with a $70,000 car in the back and, like, $40,000 worth of apparel. So, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, man, David's car's right there. I could just show you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't show him. I wonder if Misa's watching this. Because I know Misa's in this passenger seat. Misa! Suck my balls! This Jeep is nice. This reminds me of my Jeep. Except my Jeep's better. Pussy boy! There, I'll show you guys the Jeep. Hold on. I can't show you David's car. I don't know if you guys saw that. Any horsepower upgrades to the Jeep? Dude, my Jeep is so fucking slow. Like, I'd have to waste so much money just to put any, like, horsepower to it. Those engines, I mean, they're okay for longevity, but Jesus Christ, they're slow as fuck. Like, I might as well get out and run. Hey, officer, what are you doing? I see you, officer! Where are we at? I don't know, there's a Dairy Queen two miles ahead. That's cool. Put a Hemi in it. Dude, I would, but fucking it's, I think the, I think it's about 15 or 20 grand to like actually convert it. I definitely would though. It tells me to rap it. <laughs> well, I'm glad your daughter likes my rap. Some people love it, some people hate it. Either way, man, I don't care. I like it and that's what matters. You should always do what you want. You should never do what other people want. Fuck what other people want to do. Time for a sponsor. John, shut the fuck up, okay? John, you keep talking to shit. I'm gonna buy a Durango and then you're not gonna get one. I think we're in, are we in, oh, we're in Childress. I swear to God. Texas has the most cities. What, what's going on here? Jesus Christ. Go, Honda, go. Go, Honda, go. Somebody fucked up. I think somebody just hit a car. Hauler. That sucks. Hopefully it wasn't an RP Productions car. Just kidding. Do a pull? Dude, I'm literally going six miles an hour right now. What happened over here? Maybe something cool. Fucking doubt it. Uh, ooh, that's a dope G-Wagon. Look at that. Ooh. They're sick, but I would never fucking waste $150,000 on one of those. Jesus. So expensive. Oh, uh, hey, hey, dick. You can't just pull out in front of me. God, this isn't your fucking wife. You can't just pull out whenever you want. Assholes. Let's go windows down. It's nice outside. Turn off the AC. La da 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 da. You can suck my balls. All of you can suck all my balls. My smooth ass balls. Hope you guys like that song. 
Um, the kicking videos are going to start back up as soon as we get back um, this weekend, I think. And then our next big show is going to be uh, Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas at the Fit Expo. I'm very excited about that. Should be, should be very fun. I went last year, and Vegas is always fun. You get to fuck, be fucked up, eat really good food, give zero fucks. I should just get that tattooed on my face. Zero fucks. I want to see, maybe if I, no, I can't see it. Damn, I want to show you guys this SRT. It's fucking dope. I wish you could, like, post pictures, like, while you're going live. That'd be kind of cool. <coughs> Let's see. I'll be out there. Oh, shit. Go tubing. Rachel's out of town. For those of you guys who don't know, she is out of town. She went to Buffalo. Uh, her grandma died a little while ago. So they are putting her ashes in and around New York, kind of where she grew up. So that's why she hasn't been in or made any videos. She'll be back sometime next week, um, I think. So I thought, hey, what did you guys think of Rachel's video? I thought she did pretty good. My day is going fucking awesome. You gotta fucking live life how you want, man. Do more off-roading videos. I will. And for all the people who say I should take this truck off-roading, that will never, ever, 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 ever happen. Sorry. This truck is way too fucking nice to just go fuck it up. So, the only reason I took my Jeep off-roading is because I plan to do a shitload of work to it. So, uh, you should put a 315 on the back of your home kit. Three, well, the three, the only company that makes a 315 is the Nittos, and NTO5s are not very good, is what I've heard. And actually, from uh, one of my buddies, Branson, who drives that cheap ass Corvette. kind of cool this makes time go fast so i hope you guys are enjoying your day i know i am have you ever played forza dude this look this is no offense to anybody who plays video games thumbs up for boobs always who doesn't love fucking tits everybody who hates tits can go fuck themselves anyways uh this is no offense to anybody who plays video games but if i have time to play video games and watch tv then i have more money than god and right now I don't. So uh, I've just, I've never been a fan of like just sitting on the couch and like just wasting my life away. And that's no offense to anybody who plays video games. I just, I'm an entrepreneur, like I'm a fucking grinder. I got to get shit done. So if I'm not training people, if I'm not selling t-shirts, if I'm not doing online coaching, if I'm not doing whatever else I'm doing, uh, I try and be a, the best entrepreneur that I can. And if I'm just sitting there not doing anything, then uh, I'm not being a very good entrepreneur. So, just for any advice for you, people who want to start your own business or work for yourself or whatever. Like, if I'm not making videos, then I'm working. If I'm not working, then I'm uh, doing social media stuff. If I'm not doing social media stuff, I'm doing online coaching stuff. If I'm not doing that, I'm probably editing something. So, always gotta be working. I like working, that was the problem. And sometimes I work way too much, so because two hours of sleep in um, two days is probably not the smartest thing you can do. So, does anyone know if there is an In and Out in Fort Worth? Because your boy is trying to get some In and Outs. Because I don't give a fuck what people say. In and Out is the shit. Okay, In and Out Burger is where it's at. Uh, Well, I'm, I'm glad you, like, understood what I meant. Like, it's literally no offense to anybody who plays video games. Like, I, I don't have anything wrong with that. Like, if that's what you like to do, that's cool. But, like, me personally, if I have time to just chill and sit around 
then either A, I'm being lazy as fuck, or B, I have more money than God. And I'm not trying to be either one of those. So, I'm not, I would like to have a lot of money, but there's always somebody who has more. Or always somebody who's working harder. That's what I always think about. I'm like, man, uh, no. I'm not even going to mention who you just asked. <laughs> so... Gotta keep it positive on this channel. No more fucking hate videos, no more talking shit. So, I gotta do me, otherwise that shit comes back to you. You know what I mean? So. When you went to Canadian River, did you have the OHV sticker? <laughs> Actually, no I did not. I did not have that OHV sticker. Um, but I think unless you go, like, when they're having an event, I don't think they can really give a shit. So, how about Tall Guy Reviews? I think Tall Guy Car Reviews is, like, a legit, real person. Like, he doesn't give a fuck what people think. He talks how he wants to talk. Like, I think that's badass. I think there's too many people on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram who are just fake as fuck and do shit just to get views or do shit just to have people like you or whatever the fuck like fuck that do what makes you happy fuck what other people think like I'm so tired of fucking fake ass people so many people on Instagram promoting like bullshit whether it's in the fitness industry or whack ass car parts or fucking whatever it's like they're just the type of people who like smile on your face and then talk shit behind your back that shit's fucking annoying just got on here. Where is the cat? The cat, okay. Anybody who is uh, new, uh, anybody who is new who just got on, the cat, Hellcat, is in the trailer, which is behind me. I'm driving the truck right now. So for anybody who just hopped on. Um, hey, Kevin, uh, how far from Texas to Mexico? Um, I don't know. I think El Paso is... 10 hours so I know like down south like towards that Mexico but I don't know I'm not really sure like where I'm at I don't know that's a good question I used to like when I lived in Cali God, we went to Mexico like every fucking weekend because it was like two and a half hours three hours away boy love me some fucking tortas shit like 10 oh for real there's 10 locations Boy! Hey, anybody want to meet it in and out today? I think, you know what? I met RP Productions in person. He is exactly what you fucking see in the videos. And I love that about him. He's awesome. Like, we Snapchat here and there. Uh, he always, like, congratulates me, like, when I hit 10K. He, like, sent me a little congratulations. I think RP Productions is the shit. Uh, he's, he's a real ass dude, too. Tall Guy Car Reviews is legit. Um, and that dude fucking pumps out videos like one or two a, one or two a day. I'm like, God damn, how do you even do that? So, I think it's badass though. Boy, in and out. Shit. John, you do not need in and out, okay? Aren't you supposed to be doing some? I just spit it for John, aren't you supposed to be doing some keto fucking diet? <laughs> yes, John Mark Bivens. That's you. Well, hey, maybe we should get an in and out meet together tonight. Uh, dude, I don't know. Um, Street Speed 717. First of all, I want to say that man is a fucking genius because that dude's got what, over half a million subscribers, and you know what, it's, <laughs> I fucking hate it, but it's fucking smart at the same time, it's like, every video is a clickbait video, but I still watch the whole fucking thing, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't want to watch the whole fucking thing, but I watch the whole thing, when he's like, oh my god, my fucking thousand horsepower Corvette blew up, and it was like a coolant hose that leaked, I was like, damn, smart marketing smart fucking man so I think Street Speed 717 is a smart 
fucking man. Genius. But uh, I, I think he, I think he probably would be the same. Um, I'm not gonna mention who I think is fake. No, I wish RP Production was gonna be there. Um, he's going to the Street Speed 717 thing. So, and again, if this wasn't the same weekend, I probably would have just went to that. But I, I wouldn't have wanted to go to that Street Speed 71 thing unless I had the demon because I want to show up and fucking race Guitar Mageddon ZL1. I think when I get the demon, I seriously, I mean, what do you guys think? I want to make a list of like 10 people and just call them out and then just go to where they live and race them. Like, Guitar Mageddon ZL1 would be one. And I met Nick in person too, and he's a cool guy. I met his girlfriend. He is just like five feet tall. Like, I didn't realize how short he was. That dude is like five feet tall. And like, I'm I'm not huge by any means, but I'm 6'2". And Nick is like 5'1". Or it seemed like he was 5'1". But Nick's a really cool guy. Our Productions is cool. Uh, Bobby uh, from Muscle vs. Tuner is a really nice guy. Um, I wish they would have, like, that Muscle vs. Tuner shit would have never, like, done, like, fucked up because I think they had something going on there. Uh, let's see. I dig your channel. Hey, I, I appreciate you guys watching my channel. Like, I really do. I never thought I'd have 10,000 subscribers. Like, that was my goal, like, in a year. And I reached, I reached that before. So I, I appreciate everybody who watches the channel. So I don't care if one person watches or a million people watch. I'm still going to make videos. I'm still going to be the same fucking person. So I cuss a little bit. I talk a little bit of shit. But I'm always going to be real. That's for sure. Can't be fake. Not a fake bone in my body. You know what's funny is if, if you guys ever meet Rachel, like, in person, like, on videos, like kind of tell a little bit but Rachel is the female version of me like she talks just as much shit as I do she gives I give zero fucks she's like negative fuck like if there was a one below zero fucks that's that's Rachel Rachel gives zero fucks but I love I love that about her so because she just doesn't give a shit what people think usually But I do hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. Um, whether you guys are working today or working this weekend or if you guys are just going out and partying. Hope you guys have a good Friday, good weekend. So I appreciate everybody who's on here so far. You guys are fucking awesome. And um, I do want to give a shout out. Like I don't like to talk about it on my channel too much just because like I don't, again, I don't want to ever be like that guy who just sells shit on his channel but I do want to say a huge thank you to everybody whether you're on here right now or not who always supports uh, my brand Contagion Athletics you guys are like the fucking shit um, I never thought that I'd be like shipping packages all over the United States and then even like in different countries I think it's awesome like I really appreciate it you guys are awesome uh, you guys are the shit and I hope I get to meet all of you guys one day. Because that would be awesome. Oh, that's awesome if you started following me before the Hellcat was wrapped. Because, man, that was a little while ago. You know, it's funny because there's somebody just bought an orange Daytona, like a gold mango. And I was like, God, that's a nice color. And then I look at my car and I'm like, duh, dumbass, you have that color. <laughs> Oh, man. But I, I do want to say thank you guys so much. Like, you guys seriously are the shit. You guys are, like, helping me build my dream. And uh, it's so cool seeing you guys post on Instagram and Snapchat. Uh, wearing, like, CA gear or putting, like, a CA decal on your car. Wearing, like, CA wristband. I think it's, it's so badass. Like, you know, we started in my fucking garage. And I just had a dream of, like, having my own clothing line that actually, like, meant something. And you guys have been supporting it. You guys are the shit, like, for real. I just appreciate that shit so much. Because you are making my dreams a reality. Hey, you know what, man? Just because you have a dart doesn't mean shit. You can, you can have any car that you want. 
All you gotta do, dude, is fucking grind. I promise you, you can have any car you want. I used to drive a fucking 2003 Hyundai Elantra. Okay? You can, you can seriously have whatever the fuck you want. I'm serious. Like, some of you guys might just be like, oh, this guy's talking shit. I'm serious, man. You can have anything you want. Like, I promise. I'm trying to have more cars than there are days of the week. That's my goal. Damn, muffler delete on the Hellcat. That's fucking legit. And for real, though, there, there's nothing wrong with any car that you drive. Like, oh, shit, I gotta get the fuck over. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Move, bitch! Get out the way! I got a Hellcat in my trailer. Nah, I, I'm not amazing. I just try and be real. And some people will call that, you can call it whatever you want. I just try and be real. So, but for real, man, you can have any car that you want. I, pro I, I fucking promise you. I promise you that. Like, this is coming from, like, first world experience. This isn't some guy who's trying to sell you, like, an ebook online for, like, $199. This is, like, from me, Kevin, I'm on the other side of the phone or the computer, whatever you're watching from, okay? Uh, I'm giving the NFL one more shot. So, this next year, I have two uh, kicking combines. And uh, so, we'll kind of see what happens, man. This is going to be, this will be my last year trying. It's not me giving up on my dream. It's just, you know... There comes a point when you have to decide kind of what's important. So I've made football my number one priority forever. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm excited to take you guys along for the ride, though. That's for sure. Ha! That street was named Winky Drive. Where do you live? I live on Winky. It's fucking awesome. But seriously, though. Anybody who tells you you can't do anything, you know what you should do, is go like this. Fuck you. My dreams are bigger than yours. That's what you should say. Don't even care if it's your mom, your brother, your sister, your fiance, whatever, man. You do whatever the fuck you want. I promise you. And anybody who makes fucking excuses say, no, I can't. Bullshit. Okay? Just remember that there's always somebody who's in a worse situation trying to do way better than you. So just remember that. Remember that shit. So I'm going to end this live feed in two minutes. So what up? Hope you guys are having a good Friday. I really do. I really mean that shit. Uh, are you in Dallas? Not yet. I'm driving to Fort Worth. Uh, hey, well, no, thank you. For, thank you guys for the support. For real, thank you. So just as much as you guys believe in me and inspire me, I feel the same way about you. So uh, we're going to be in Fort Worth for the We Are Mopar Car Show. It's tomorrow at noon at the Texas Motor Speedway. And also, if you guys um, if you guys want to meet up with me at in, in and out DM me on Instagram or DM me on Snapchat at CaliBoyKev. And uh, let me know if you guys want to meet up tonight. You can see David's car before we release it. Uh, but let me know. I think we'll be in Fort Worth in probably about three hours or so. Alright guys, I'm going to be ending this in 45 seconds. Uh, yes, I would plan on coming to Florida soon. I want to come down there and race. So... I appreciate you guys. I'm ending this in 30 seconds. Just giving you guys a heads up. What's up? What's up? Thank you guys for watching this. You guys are the fucking shit. Thank you guys so much. 20 seconds. So I'll make sure if you guys want to add me on Snap, at KellyBoyKev, we'll do a meet tonight. 10 seconds. 10 fucking seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. All right, I'm out, people. Thank you guys for doing the live feed. Grind or die. Gang, gang, we fucking out here.